There are times when we work with files which has lot of calculations and we don't want to accidentally delete or change any of this formula. To avoid this kind of mistake, we can lock cells with formulas and protect the worksheet. But locating all formulas and doing this will not only be time consuming but will also have a scope on missing one or more formulas. In this video, I will explain you how you can overcome all these challenges and still do the job by writing a VBA macro code. I will also explain you the code line by line, so stay tuned. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel Learn in 5 Minutes. So let's start. This is our sample workbook which has two formulas. One is today's date and other is sum of two numbers. Now we want to lock this formula cells and protect the worksheet but we want to keep these two cells with numbers open for editing. To do this we will write a small VBA macro code. So let's open our VBA editor by pressing Alt F11. In this window we will write our code. Since I have the code already copied in clipboard I will just paste it here which will help us in reducing the video length. This is the macro code that will do our job. I have also provided this code in the description box below. Now let us understand this code line by line. The first line here is just a comment for us to better understand what our macro is supposed to do. Then we have started our macro with name lock formulas protect sheet. You can give any name you prefer to. Further, since we want to execute multiple commands on active sheet, I have started a with object expression which will help us in holding multiple statements. The first statement will unprotect the sheet in case it is protected, otherwise it will have no effect. In second statement, we have set cells lock to false, so this will unlock all the cells. In next statement, we have set all cells with formulas to true, so this will lock all cells that contain formulas. In final statement, we have protected the active sheet and also restricted deleting rows. Then we have closed the object expression with end with. With the end of this line, we have done writing our code. This line here will give us a message when the code is successfully executed, indicating the end of the code execution. And finally, we close our function with end sum. Now since we are done with our code, Let's close this VBA editor and return back to our excel sheet to test our macro code. To run our code we need to press Alt F8. This will open the macro dialog box. You can see our macro code name here is available. Ok, before we execute this macro, have a look at the cells. These are right now unprotected and editable. Now let us run our macro to lock cells with formulas and protect the sheet. And we got our message saying formulas are locked successfully. We'll just click OK to this message and check our cells. Great, our cells with formulas are protected now and other cells are not. And you can see here that our sheet is also protected but this is not password protected. In case you want to password protect this sheet then to do this let's go back to our code. Let us declare a variable password as string here. And in next line we will store a password in this variable password equal to pass123. You can set any password of your choice. Now we will have to provide the password to this statement that protects the sheet. Let us also provide this password while unlocking the sheet. And that's it. Let us test our code now. Good, our cells are still protected. And our sheet is also password protected now. So that's all in this video. If you found this video useful, please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.